All right, guys, Stag, Wolf and Stag Wastelanders. Um, doing a driving home video. I just did two videos on uh, the Kenosha incident and the current situation in the nation. I encourage you guys to watch those videos. Um, it's uh, 1602 now, Mountain Standard Time, uh, 26 August 2020. Um, I just want you guys to be aware and be ready for, uh, you know, more unrest and more uh, situations that will be coming your way or coming the way of anybody living in these cities. Um, last night's situation was not a good situation. It wasn't optimal, but it was bound to happen. And I've been saying for weeks that this was going to happen. I've been saying for actually since these have started, I've been saying since these riots have started that, that something like this is, about, is going to happen. Okay? Um, I've been saying this that it's that it's going to happen for a while um, I've been saying that this is literally turning into a civil war type of scenario I'm not saying that it is God damn. I'm not saying it is a civil war um, we do have <coughs> a lot of papers though saying that this is starting to look like the civil war like uh, 1860, 1861, Fort Sumpner, all that. Um, we had the situation earlier this year with the Chaz Chop. Um, all starting from the incident in Milwaukee. Uh, do I, I? I will say this: I don't agree that those officers that the officer should have kneeled on his neck for more than say 30 seconds if he was being non-compliant. However. Um, it's now come out, the toxicology reports have come out, everybody knows what the situation was, the media spun it, the media lied. Um, this isn't a conspiracy theory, it's none of that. So we know the media lied. The media is also spinning the situation that happened in uh, Kenosha last night, and I encourage everyone to watch my previous video on it, where I break down the situation in kind of a fast scenario, um, kind of explain the situation to you. Um, it's, uh, guys, I'm, I'm going to be keeping my head on a swivel in my area. Um, my, again, I live in a pretty much a red, well, I live in a red state and a most, in a pretty much a majority red city. And it's the second largest city in the state. Um, we have had... The uh, organization, his initials match that of the Bureau of Land Management, um, show up and protest, but armed citizens kept them to a peaceful protest. Armed citizens and our local police and sheriff's office. So there's some good news in my community. Um, what, what I'm saying is, though, what I'm trying to get at is you guys don't have those kind of communities. But you have groups. Um, you guys might want to start thinking about getting with those groups. Now, preparing yourself, preparing your family, preparing in case you have to bug out of a situation like this, and uh, preparing in case you might have to defend yourself. This was a justified self-defense shooting. I'm not going to mince words. It was justified. The young man was attacked. He had offered aid to anyone who was injured, and then suddenly. Someone in the group starts calling him a white supremacist and a Nazi, a Nazi, and or actually a white supremacist and a very bad man from world, or a very bad person from World War II. Um, they attack him, and uh, the results were devastating. The young man has to live with it the rest of his life that he had to defend, that he had to take two lives, and. Uh, heavily injure a third person because of their actions and so he had to defend himself. Um, I watched them say the same thing to the Lolbertarians and that's what I'm going to call them because you're not real libertarians. You are Lolbertarians. You're defending communists, you're Lolbertarians. Pure and simple. Okay? You're protecting them from the cops? Well guess what? The cops are there to protect society. You don't like the police 
Go to a place where there's no cops, like Somalia. But you guys can't do that because you guys like the first world. Um, I'm sorry I can't make this any more lighthearted, these more rant videos. Um, so I'm going to finish up with saying we still are doing the Streamlight giveaway, uh, the Wasteland Weapons. Watch all three part or all the parts um, from the Pistols of the Wasteland all the way through to the um, Final Verdict Weapons of the Wasteland. Um, comment on them, like those videos, and uh, I'll finish this up with that because that's on a positive note. Um, but guys, just, just you know, please be safe, please be careful, and uh, we'll see you in the wasteland.